What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Frankie Candles live stream every single weekday here at 5.45 p.m. right after ATB. I actually don't even know if ATB is over yet. It seemed like they might have been going a little bit late. But nonetheless, guys, welcome back to the stream. We have another great show for you tonight. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin. We're going to take a look at the alts. As always, we're going to be spinning that wheel. If you want to spin the wheel of pain and pleasure, for a chance to win some free Cardano NFTs, go ahead and smash that like button, guys. For every 100 likes we get, you guys will get a Cardano NFT uh, or a chance to spin the wheel, which has two chances to win a Cardano NFT for absolutely free. Uh, I do believe we're giving away four today, so we will be announcing our four Cardano NFT winners tonight. Uh, if you want to enter and you are not already in to win this giveaway, um, go ahead and check out the pinned comment uh, at the top of the chat. Tyler lets you know how you can enter to win these NFTs uh, with a link on the video that you have to like and comment on uh, in order to enter to win. So definitely check that out if you want to enter, uh, you know, for your chance to win a Cardano NFT. And like I said, every 100 likes, you guys get a spin on the wheel. More spins, more chances you have to win. Um, guys, I don't think I, did we touch on this yesterday? We hit 15K. I don't even remember if we talked about it. I, I, I don't want to make a big deal in case we did yesterday. We do so many streams and make so many videos that I don't even know what we said yesterday. Uh, so I don't want to spend too much time on it, but shout out to everybody. Thank you so much. We hit 15,000 subscribers. We're already almost halfway uh, to 16,000 subscribers. Absolutely insane. But we, guys, we are well, 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 well on our way to uh, getting our names, getting the Candle Mafia name on that building here in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, right outside on the main road. We're gonna get that Candle Mafia name up on the building and we are on our way, guys. We hit 15K subscribers so much faster than I thought we would. Uh, so thank you, each and every single one of you guys, uh, for showing support to the channel and liking uh, the streams and the videos every time you watch because honestly, guys, liking the video is the best way to help push this content out to more people and build the Candle Mafia into an 
an absolutely unstoppable army. Um, so once more, guys, thank you so much for everybody who supports the channel. I appreciate you all so much. That's why I give away all my money in Cardano NFTs to you guys. And shout out to Biomex. Uh, Biomex, I see you in there. Uh, shout out to you, man. I appreciate you so much. He's actually donated a couple of Cardano NFTs so we can give away uh, some extras uh, from time and from, from here and there. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, but he gives us extra NFTs to give away just supporting the Candle Mafia. So Biomex, big shout out to you. Um, I appreciate you. I think it's Biomex, right? I, I, guys, I'm out of it today. I was half sick half of the week. I'm kind of out of it. Uh, Tyler uh, or Tony, please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I'm pretty, yes, it's Biomex. I'm almost 100% sure. But I think there might have been someone else too. Um, um, Tony said, Frank, I texted you when you hit 15K. You were probably working in the middle of the night like a psychopath. Uh, <laughs> Tony D, you're not wrong. Uh, yeah, I, I actually do think I remember you texting me. Um, but yeah, uh, guys, uh, last night we were up late. Um, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything yet. Uh, but we're not, we're, we're experimenting. Uh, we're experimenting with something that is pretty exciting. That's all I'm going to say. We're experimenting with something um, Pretty exciting, uh, but before we bring you guys the news, or you know, it's not really news, but before we bring this to the to the public, uh, we're gonna we got we got to make sure some things work out first. Uh, but we are we're, we're say we're we're testing out something pretty pretty cool. Uh, it could wind up being extremely extremely cool, and if it does wind up working, I cannot bring it to you guys. I cannot wait to bring it to your attention, guys. Um, so. Before we jump into it, guys, let's go ahead and say what is up to chat. Who do we got in here? Uh, Tyler Jordan, one of our wonderful mods. I appreciate you, Tyler. Thank you for everything you do. Uh, let's see. Kay Leash, what is going on? V Slim, welcome back. Thank you for being here. Jonathan, what is going on? Thank you for being here. Uh, Jason, what is up? Jonathan Anderson, Tox, T-O-X, what is going on? Um, Captain Kirk, one of our other wonderful mods. Captain Kirk, thank you for everything you do as well. Um, I appreciate you so much. Uh, let's see, Robin Banks, what is going on? He says, hello. Um, <laughs> Magnum, what is going on? Keep it coming, what is up? Jimmy with a stimmy says, Elon tweets about Doge. Wait 10 minutes for the, for the pump. Then put in a short, works every single time. Uh, yes, absolutely, uh, Jimmy, that is a, is a pretty good strategy. Because uh, it will pump, but it's not very, uh, it doesn't get, it's not sustained for very long. Uh, let's see, let's see. Steve H., what is going on? The markets are riding the line today. Do you think ETH breaks 1700? Uh, I think we did briefly break 1700 this morning. Um, uh, but yeah, we'll take a look at ETH here uh, in just a few minutes. Uh, Biomex, what's going on? We just shouted you out, but what's up, man? I appreciate you. Daddy Zach, what is going on? Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, Matthew, what's going on? Uh, Crypto Anon. Crypto Anon, what's going on, brother? Thank you for being here. I appreciate you, my man. And Tony D, one of our other wonderful mods. Thank you for being here, man. I appreciate you. Uh, keep it coming. Let's get a few more. Uh, Von Leyski. Von, Von Leyski, what is going on? He says, yo, yo, yo. Chemistry, bro. JLB, Alan, David. Armored Crypto, Edward Adam, Decrypto Plumber, what's up, welcome back, man, Working Dog, uh, Steve, Blessed Auto Group, uh, Toy Crawler, uh, Kenton, IMIX, Incognito, uh, Chemistry Bro, Ellie, and Ruan B, what is going on, I appreciate every single one of you guys for being here, thank you, thank you, thank you, um, smash that like button if you have not already, if you guys want to try to get a couple more NFTs, I think we're giving away four today, um, so if you want a little extra, let's go ahead and run up those likes, uh, it is a holiday, the start of a holiday weekend, so I don't know how many people are going to get in here, uh, so let's shoot, we'll shoot, uh, you know, realistically for the like goal, let's go for 350. 350 likes. I'll give you guys four extra spins on the wheel, four extra chances for a uh, uh, another Cardano giveaway. You know what? Forget it. Let's shoot for 550. We'll see how close we can get. Uh, shooting for 550 likes, guys. Um, 245 people in here. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate you very, very much. Uh, all the technical stuff should be back to normal, guys, so it should be a smooth show, and if it's not I'm going to flip the table. I'm going to flip the table, guys, live on stream. You're going to see me smash my laptop live on stream. Um, I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, but, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the charts. I will not pull the thumbnail up by accident because I know I've been doing that lately. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into the charts. Here we are. This isn't the charts. Well, it kind of is. I uh, <laughs> just want to check up on these trades, guys. Uh, Ethereum trade doing pretty well right here, up about 100, uh, almost 100%, up another 
$769. So, you know, up, uh, already have 830 out of the position. So this trade is looking pretty good. Um, haven't taken any more profits off the table. I probably should and probably will pretty soon here. Um, but I want to let this ride because I think we can come down a little bit more. Um, yeah. And then uh, I did, I, I do just want to let you guys know, I did, uh, I think it was last night, I got two little scalps, very, very small positions. I think it was like a total of like $75 profit uh, between the two trades. But we had two two nice little uh, trades there, but they were just a low amount of money. So the money wasn't a big game, but the percentages were were uh, decent. Um, and then we still got this one open. And then over on Femex, we do have uh, another Ethereum short. I had a Bitcoin short open on here as well, but I closed it out in profit. Um, uh, but wanted to build uh, build uh, another short up over here because I have a little more money in this account. Um, and then still looking to get into another Bitcoin short. Uh, but I, I don't know. We might have just missed our opportunity uh, to get into this short because I think we are probably approaching the bottom. And it, it pretty soon here, it's probably going to be time uh, to start flipping more bullish rather uh, than looking for shorts. We're probably going to start looking for long sometime here soon. So I don't want to wind up longing the or shorting the bottom. Um, so I might just let that Bitcoin short, uh, you know, just go. I don't want to force a trade or just kind of FOMO into a short. Uh, but we got that nice ETH uh, short open. And then if we get a, a little pump up, I might add to this position too. So I'm uh, going to keep an eye on that. But this one up about 23%. Uh, wish I had a little more in there. Uh, but at the time of opening this, um, I... I I had all my money in Bitcoin and I had to buy ETH and change it to USD and, and do, it was, it was a nightmare. Um, so I was only able to get in for about $200, but if we do pump, I'm going to add to this position. Um, and then, yeah, and then pretty soon here, guys, we're going to be looking for sh uh, longs here pretty soon uh, if this market decides to ever do something other than go sideways. And with that being said, guys, Bitcoin has been very, very boring, right? I know we dropped a little bit, um, you know, yes, uh, today, but essentially we, we, we have just been moving sideways. So uh, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, just pretty much still as boring as it can be. Um, as you guys know, uh, uh, by the way, uh, today's energy is brought to you by another silver and blue can of water. Don't tell mama candles. She was roasting me for drinking Red Bull. She says, stop drinking the Red Bull, Frankie. If she was here in real life, she'd smack me in the back of the head. But if you guys know how Italian families are, when I'm 50, if I'm doing something my mom doesn't like, she's going to come back and smack me in the back of the head. That's just how Italians work. Uh, but yeah. So anyway, um, starting off on Bitcoin here, guys. Uh, <laughs> Basically moving sideways, right? Uh, you know, not much has changed. Basically just going in a straight line sideways. Um, obviously, we did print this yellow X, which I do think could finally bring us down to maybe bring, uh, maybe put in a lower low here. Now, uh, it's it's just boring, guys. Like I, I don't know what to say. I mean, this doesn't look much different than yesterday. I hate this more than anything. I, it gives me very little to talk about on the stream uh, when so little changes in the, the by till the next day. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, so not much has changed last night uh, since last night. Um, so yellow X obviously confirmed. We have come down a little bit more. Um, but essentially, it is looking like this could play out exactly how, how we thought, though, right? Bearish continuation pattern, right? So, boom, 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 boom. Probably going to continue uh, this downtrend. However, uh, I, again, like I, I don't want to, I don't want to beat a dead horse because I talked about this yesterday, and I think a little bit the day before. Basically, what I'm looking for is a breakdown out of this bear pennant, right? Or you know, however, if you want to draw it as a uh, you know, bear flag or a bearish rectangle, however you want to, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, I think we are going to wind up boom, 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 and then breaking down. Um, now the question is, are we going to come down double bottom and then come up? Are we going to double bottom, come up, have a harsh rejection down to, uh, you know, these levels down here before having a massive relief bounce? Are we just going to bounce off of this level and come up uh, so there, there's many op there's many uh, options on the table here. Now, as you guys know, I'll just cover this one more time. I know I covered this yesterday and the day before. Now, what I would like to see happen is I would like to see price come down and make a slightly lower low, right? So you can get the lower low on the price. And then you can see here, uh, you can see here, 
on Market Cipher B, you are starting. I mean, this is exactly what we were hoping for. I was drawing this line. Actually, the line I just deleted uh, was trying to predict this. Uh, but we were saying we wanted to see the momentum wave come down like this and make a higher low, right? So you can get your line moving like that. And then uh, you could put in that bullish di that bullish divergence with your uh, with your momentum wave on Market Cipher B coming down and making a higher low. Um, so you could draw your upward slanting line like that. Oh my gosh, guys, I cannot draw. I cannot draw. There you go. Uh, so you have your line like that, your price action making a lower low, bullish divergence. And then at that point, we can start to flip, uh, you know, take our profits on our shorts. Hopefully we're all out of our shorts there. And then um, we can start flipping and looking for longs uh, for a nice relief bounce to the upside, which I think is definitely right around the corner, guys. I don't think we can really have much more pain uh I, I really don't think we could have much more pain coming I, I i don't we have nine red weekly candles that is a record um i don't think we really could possibly have that much more pain um sitting right on top of strong support so if we could just get a quick wick down uh and then maybe next week's candle is green but i mean it's 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 really i mean this is crazy this is a lot of pain um you know the nothing goes down in a straight line uh, I mean, except for Bitcoin, apparently, uh, until this weekly turns around. But I mean, this is just brutal. Um, and now we're just sitting there just going completely sideways. So super, super boring. Um, now, uh, you know, obviously we've broken essentially out of this bear pennant, right? So we came out, we retested as resistance, and now we are continuing to come down. Printed a red blood diamond on the one hour chart, right? So you came down, tested the, uh, retested the support as resistance came back down and now we're kind of floating down here. I am hoping that we could come down a little bit further. I think it's it's definitely likely that it will happen um, just based off of all those blood diamonds. And now we have the yellow. Uh, and if you guys if you guys are just tuning in and you don't know what blood diamonds we're talking about, uh, we have blood diamonds uh, all over the place. 16 hour blood diamond, 12 hour blood diamond, four blood diamonds on the 10 hour inside of this bear pennant. Uh, and then eight hour, you got three blood diamonds, <laughs> six hour, no blood diamonds. Uh, and then your four hour, you had a blood diamond back here. But, uh, but this 10 hour with all these blood diamonds, this 12 and the 16 hour with the blood diamond is definitely, um, and now having that yellow X coming in at the end of this bearish continuation pattern is definitely screaming that we could be going to the downside with for one last leg down before we come up. Um, so that is what we're hoping for. Again, we're gonna ride those shorts out, look for the hopefully cause, hopefully put in a bullish divergence if we can get a lower low in here, uh, and then we can start looking for those longs and start heading back up. Now, I'm gonna short right now on Bitcoin. Let's go, Bernard. Hopefully you're up on that. Uh, Let's see, them four blood diamonds is insane. Yes, absolutely. Uh, the four blood diamonds are absolutely crazy, guys. I, I've never seen this happen, uh, ever. I've never seen this happen before, uh, you know, where these four blood diamonds come in one after another like this. Um, so, you know, the one thing I'm thinking, you know, maybe, you know, pri price wants to go down, right? We printed a blood diamond, couldn't get through the support. Printed another blood diamond to go through, couldn't get through the support. Printed another blood diamond, couldn't get through the support. Printed another blood diamond, couldn't get through the support. So I don't think it's impossible that we that this doesn't bring us down, but it's very, very, very likely. I don't believe we've seen these blood diamonds play out yet. And now with the confirmed yellow X uh, on the, um, with the confirmed yellow X on the daily, I do think this really could start bringing us down, um, you know, a decent bit. This definitely has the power to bring us down. Uh, you know, if you look back here at the last summer lows that we had, I did this uh, yesterday or two days ago. I think I did it two or three days ago when we were in the home studio when I wasn't feeling great. Um, by the way, guys, about 95%. Still got a little bit of the sniffles, a little, little bit of cough action. But uh, uh, other than that, we're pretty much back to normal here. Uh, fever's gone, so that's good. No throbbing headache. Uh, we're back. We're back on the sauce here, guys. Back on the sauce. But... Uh, anyway, when we were, uh, you know, at the home studio, I do believe I measured this out for you guys. Um, so we have this yellow X here. Uh, you know, so this one brought you down about 10% on the candle. Um, but if you wanted to, you know, consider it bringing you, so 10%, 17%. Yeah, I mean, it depends on where, you, we'll just say from the candle, it brings you down about 10%, right? And then this one, um, 
This one, just on that one candle, brought you about 12%. Uh, now, you could argue that this yellow X here actually brought you down, you know, about 20%. So let's say 15%. We'll split the difference here. Uh, and let's just see where that would bring us. Uh, you know, 15% brings us right onto this support level. 15% brings us right onto the support level here at about 24, uh, about 24, three. Uh, so, you know, it, it, you know, if it does really just shoot down here, that would be a perfect scenario uh, for a bullish divergence, just lower lows. Oh God, I'm gonna get this line, guys. We're gonna get the line. Uh, you know, just the lower lows on price with the higher lows on your market site for beef. You get that uneven wave, uh, or I know Jason Casper calls these uneven butt cheeks. Uh, so that is what we're looking for. Some mean, uneven butt cheeks. Shout out to Jason Casper. Um, so guys, uh, that is kind of what I'm thinking. Kind of the same thing as yesterday. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm waiting for. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, so yeah, now let's go ahead and I want to touch on something really quick. Uh, you saw the title, biggest reason the pain might be over. Um, now I know you guys, if you watch Ben's channel, BitBoy Crypto, right? Uh, I know he's, he's mentioned, uh, as I've mentioned as well on the morning stream with him about the possibility of a false top. Right now, this might be new to some people. If you watch my channel a lot, you'll probably be familiar with it. Or if you watch Ben's channel a lot, you might be familiar with it. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to pull up the RSI, just a plain old regular RSI, right? And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, let's get rid of market cipher B. Now, this is kind of this is kind of what we mean by uh, false top theory, right? Um, so basically, with the false top. The idea is, the theory is, what if this was the actual top, right? This was the actual top of this cycle, and this was just a, a relief bounce, right? So this was your actual top, and then this was the beginning of the bear market, right? So this was actually the beginning of the bear market, and then we came down and had a massive relief bounce that just by freak accident or for some weird reason happened to make a higher high, right? So this was actually not the top. This was just a higher high made by a dead cat bounce, right? Whether it's due to inflation, manipulation, whatever the reason for that is another story for another day. But the question is, was this the top? And then this was just a higher high made by a dead cat bounce because there, when you measure things out uh, compared to the previous cycles, the timing works out very, very well when you measure this as the top uh, in many different situations, right? So for example, uh, you know, one reason what, that would make a lot of sense that this was the top um, was look at the RSI. RSI is way oversold, right, on this run up, right? So way oversold, and then we come all the way down, and then we come up and make a higher high over here, but the RSI is like barely oversold. Like the RSI is all the way down here, right? If this was really the big top that we were gonna have, the RSI would be, would not be, uh, essentially if this was the top and not this, the RSI would be topping out over here, not over here. So it's just very weird that we have a higher high on the, on the RSI over here rather than the actual all-time high. So this is kind of some supporting evidence uh, amongst other things as well. If you really look into it, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it right now, um, but there are some pieces of evidence that could suggest that the beginning of the bear market started here. Now, if the bear market started here, how far would we be into the bear market right now? So we are 406 days. This is assuming that this first top was the top in the beginning of the bear market. We are now, if that is the case, that would mean that we are 406 days into the bear market. Um, now, I'm sorry, guys, if this is repetitive for those uh, who already saw us do this, but I do want to point it out. Um, now, if we go back to previous cycles, right, this is 2017, and we measure from the all-time high to the bottom, it's about 364 days, right? 
pretty close to 400 and whatever days we just pulled over here on our uh, on our current price action, right? Very, 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 very similar. So if we open, let's go ahead and open up our Bitstamp chart so we can get uh, 2013 as well. And let's go ahead and measure out the 2013 uh, top to the bottom. And uh, let's go ahead and see from the top to the bottom, 413 days. Very, very, very interesting that uh, these numbers are very, very close to this 409 days that we just measured right here. Now, could that mean that we may be finding a bottom, right? Uh, could this possibly be, uh, in my opinion, guys, now I, I, I wanna preface this with, with this. I think this is the less likely case. I, 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 I'm not saying this is the case, I'm saying this is the less likely case, but it is interesting just to point it out because anything is possible, so any possible situation that we see, I'm gonna bring up because looking back, um, you know, when all of this plays out, we could look back and be like, uh, wow, at least we saw that, right? Even if we say it's the less likely situation, if it happens, at least we could see like, well, I mean, we saw it, thought it was a possibility, didn't think it was gonna play out, but we did see it, right? So. Um, so if that is the case, guys, there is a chance that this 25 dip down to 25.3 was the actual bottom. Again, I, I, I mean, I make that the less likely case. However, uh, definitely not impossible. Um, now, if you measure with this as the actual top, uh, you know, we're only 196 days into the bear market, uh, technically, and we'd probably have much longer to go. Uh, you know, if we go about 400, we'll go 413 days. Uh, that would mean that we were, this seems much more realistic to me it, when, you're, when you're comparing it to history of the other cycles, right? Uh, so if we go 413 days from this top, that brings us to a bottom, uh, you know, the day after Christmas this year, uh, we find a bottom, right? So this is kind of what this might look like, uh, you know, so grab our marker tool here, right? So, you know, maybe whether we come down a little bit more, whatever, we're going to get a probably a decent relief bounce, right? And then we'll probably come down again and, uh, you know, we'll find a bottom and uh, kind of just move sideways, right? Uh, and then eventually... Uh, you know, in 2024, maybe. And I know this is not what you guys want to hear, especially if you're new to the space. This is the last thing you want to hear. And you're probably feeling some type of way about me right now for even saying this. Um, but being through um, previous bear markets, I, I know how they behave. Uh, if you've been through one, I know a lot of you have, you'll you'll know, right? Typically what happens is you top out, You there's a long period of coming down, coming down, coming down, right? And then you get a big capitulation. And then this is the point that people forget about is that there is a long period, 133 days uh, typically of just boring, boring, absolutely treacherous sideways action that feels like it happens forever. And if you come down to uh, 2013 as well, uh, same thing over here. Uh, let me just readjust here. Uh, you know, same thing, right? You come down, you come down, you come down, you have a little relief bounce, you keep coming down, you keep coming down, you find a bottom, and then you go sideways for what feels like forever, right? We'll measure this one out, you know, from here to, you know, about here. You know, 280 days of boring sideways action. This is the boring feeling of a bear market, right? Uh, so again, like I, I know I say this a lot. I, I think a lot of people are expecting, especially people who are new, uh, are expecting us like if they, they think this is the bottom and they think we're going to go back up. That is most likely not going to be the case. We might have a nice relief bounce, uh, but we're not going to go straight up to all-time highs. The only way that I can see us going to all-time highs is if, you know, if we are going to bottom out here, maybe move sideways for a little bit. But the only time we're going to make all-time highs anytime soon is if this was the actual top. And again, the much, much less likely situation. The more likely situation, again, is going to be that this was the top and we're probably going to, you know, maybe get a relief bounce from here, come back down, you know, move sideways and then, you know, probably come down and find a bottom maybe near 20K around here and then waddle sideways for, you know, God knows how long. And then in 2024, finally, uh, is that's probably going to be uh, random line, guys, random line. 
uh, you know, this is probably going to be in 2024 when you start a new cycle, the happening happens and you start to creep your way back up into a new cycle. Um, so that's the more likely situation. Um, you know, something that doesn't support the idea that this was the actual top, um, you know, so I gave you guys, you know, the case for, you know, if the bear market started over here, we are re probably close to bottoming out here and probably going to, uh, you know, start flattening out and moving sideways soon here. Um, now, something, another thing that would support that would be this, the DXY. I spoke about this on uh, Ben's stream this morning. As you guys know, the DXY typically moves inverse to Bitcoin. Now, this big fall right here. So when the DXY tops out and comes down, there's a usually ends up being a bull run for Bitcoin. Uh, this was 2017, right? So the DXY came down, Bitcoin came up, right? And then right here, this was... Uh, the current bull run we were just in. Uh, so the DXY topped out and came down and Bitcoin went on a big run. And now, uh, you know, now uh, the DXY is coming, came up, uh, ended with Bitcoin coming down. But now we are starting to top out here and show signs of a top uh, and signs of a reversal. And uh, I know, I think a lot of people are expecting this to come all the way down again into a big downtrend, which would result in a big bull run for Bitcoin, most likely. Um, again, I think that's not, probably not going to happen. But if it does happen, it would be supported by the fact that this was the actual top. So if we see... The, again, I, again, I want to be very clear. I think this is the much less likely situation. Probably not going to happen. But I just know a lot, of a lot of buzz is going on about this DXY topping out. And, uh, you know, th th people are talking about how this could wind up coming all the way down and ending in a big bull run for Bitcoin. Probably not going to happen. I see something more likely than this, like more, something like this more likely happening. Uh, you know, cool off, even come down here before winding up just running back up. Uh, because that would give us more time to run a full bear market. It would make a lot more sense. But, you know, if you do see that DXY come down and Bitcoin go up, the way it would make sense is if it would mean, basically, it would kind of solidify that this was the actual top and the start of the bear market. And we might just be wrapping up the bear market right now. Um, again, very, very unlikely. Uh, but the option is there. The puzzle pieces are there. So, uh, you know, it would be interesting to see if that does happen. It would be the most convenient thing ever because we basically got tricked into going through a whole bear market without thinking we were in a bear market, right? Like we, we all, no one thought it was the bear market here. We were just like, what the heck is going on? And then when we came back up, we were like, oh yeah, it was just a mini bear market. And uh, meanwhile, this whole thing could have possibly been a bear market. Uh, so I just wanted to point that out and uh, show you guys. It's pretty interesting, especially because we have the DXY topping out. Um, so, you know, and then when you have, you know what, let's just do this real quick, because uh, I think this will help people understand. Uh, let's just go ahead and pull these up side by side, right? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we'll pull uh, Bitcoin up on this one. Uh, boom. We'll go to the weekly. Go here. We'll go to the weekly. All uh, right. Boom. Boom. Oh, my God. What happened? All our drawings came back again. Why does this keep happening to us? What the heck? Okay. All right, so here we are. Um, okay, so you guys can see my cursor on both of these charts uh, as they're mirrored, right? You can see my, my cursor. Um, so I just want to show you guys just so you can get a better idea of how the DXY reacts to uh, price, uh, to the Bitcoin price, right? So you see right here, um, oh God, okay, hang on. We got to use... We're gonna have to use the bitstamp chart, so I'm just gonna have to go here, and I'll just remove all the drawings. Okay, so just so you guys can get a better idea, you can see. Let me shrink this down a little bit, right? So this is our 2017 parabolic bull run, right? So as you see Bitcoin coming up, coming up, coming up. If you watch the left side on the DXY, you'll see the DXY was coming down about as steeply as Bitcoin was coming up. And then as Bitcoin tops, you can see right here, Bitcoin tops right here and the DXY bottoms right here in the same exact spot, right? And then Bitcoin starts coming down and Bitcoin starts coming down like this. And if you watch the left side of the screen, the DXY was coming up as Bitcoin was coming down. And then uh, 
and then obviously it doesn't follow exactly, um, but you can see again right here, DXY falls sharply. That resulted in Bitcoin coming up in this bull run parabolically. So you get that big drop on the DXY uh, and then you get the uh, big bull run, right? And then if we scroll over a little bit, you can see as the DXY, uh, as the DXY started to, yeah, I mean, Ah, yeah, I mean, right here, you can see the DXY found a bottom and started coming up, right? And the that was right when Bitcoin topped and started to come down. So very interesting because all of these bottoms, all of the rest of these bottoms on the DXY had marked, you know, at least close to the bottom for Bitcoin, right? Uh, so right here, yeah, very, very, very interesting. So the bottoms here called the top on Bitcoin, and then the bottom here uh, called the top for Bitcoin again. So you have the bottom here for the DXY and the top of Bitcoin right here. And then you have the bottom for the DXY right here, the top for Bitcoin right here. So it would make some kind of sense for this to be the actual top, especially when comparing it to the DXY. Uh, I, I, I know that, I, I don't know if I, if I like sounded confusing there. Um, I know it's probably hard to keep track of both of these charts at the same time, uh, but you know, just essentially DXY bottoms out when Bitcoin tops, right? And then Bitcoin uh, DXY bottoms out as Bitcoin tops, right? DXY tops as Bitcoin starts to run up, right? Bitcoin tops, I mean, uh, DXY tops as Bitcoin starts to run up in a bull market. So it would make a lot of, it would make decent sense that it could be, this bear market could possibly be over. Again, I think it's less likely. Um, but hey, if we were going to see something completely different happen uh, for Bitcoin, a completely different cycle, I think this is the cycle for something crazy to happen. Um, so I just wanted to, uh, I was looking at the DXY earlier today and just looking at the tops and the bottoms and how it correlated to Bitcoin. And the fact that these bottoms so far have called the top of Bitcoin so clearly, right? Bottom on the DXY, top of Bitcoin, bottom of the DXY, top of Bitcoin. If you're going by that, it would mean that that was the actual top. And if this was the actual top, it should mean that the bear market is wrapping up. Now, one last time, I'm not saying this is gonna happen. I'm not saying this is likely to happen. I'm just saying it's a possibility out there. Um, I think it's less likely to happen, but it's out there. The, uh, there is puzzle pieces that would fit that story. So just so you guys know, wanted to point that out to you. I thought it was just interesting to look at. As you guys know, I just like to find interesting stuff on the charts. And if I find something worth sharing, I share it with you guys. Um, all right. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, 50 EMA was tagged on the monthly only the second time it's done. Last time was the bottom of 2020. 50 EMA was tagged on the monthly. Interesting. Let's take a look at it. 50 EMA was tagged on the monthly. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. EMA. All right. Let's see. Come on. Jeez. Tech not, guys, technology is not my friend this week. I swear. I feel defeated by technology this week. 50. Okay. Uh, let's go to the monthly. Uh, let me go to this chart. Okay, there we go. Um, okay. I. Oh, my God. Why does this stuff pop up? This is so weird. I don't know why this happens, guys. Um, okay. Okay. All right, interesting, interesting. 50 EMA on the monthly. Yeah, last time we touched was, yeah, 2020 dump. Interesting, interesting, interesting stuff. Because I was going to say this, guys. I was going to say now something that doesn't, now something that doesn't support the fact that this could be the actual bottom of this bull mar uh, bear market, uh, Something that doesn't support that would be uh, the 200 moving average, the 200 week moving average, right? Every other cycle, right? Every other cycle that we've ever, uh, you know, right here, 2013, um, right? You come down in the bear market 
And uh, essentially, obviously, the, the 200 moving average doesn't, you know, isn't, wasn't actually over here yet because there wasn't enough information. Uh, but essentially, at the bottom, you bottom out at the 200-week moving average, right? And then you come up into another crazy parabolic bull run, and then the bear market comes in. It dumps all the way back down to the 200-week moving average, right? And then we go back into another massive bull run, uh, and we have not come down to touch this 200-week moving average yet. I, I, I think this is, the, this is the missing piece, right? If we could come down and make a little bit of a lower low, right? And, uh, and just come down and uh, kiss this 200-week moving average, this would be historically the best time to buy Bitcoin ever, right? Any cycle, call the bottom right here. If you bought when we were touching this 200-week moving average, best time to buy. Same thing in uh, March of 2020, best time to buy right if we come down here again this would be the best time to buy it's also uh you know anytime the money flow is in the red on the weekly chart with market cipher b same thing it basically lines up exactly the same as touching the uh 200 200 week moving average best time to buy so the fact that we haven't touched this makes me think like are we going to come down and touch this or maybe we don't have to uh but you know just because it has happened in the past doesn't mean that it has to happen again um, but it would be interesting. Are we going to come down and touch that 200 week moving average or is it not that important? We don't have to. Um, that's the real question. Um, but thank you for pointing out that 50 EMA. Very, very interesting. I, I'm happy you brought that up because that is actually something I have not seen. Um, very interesting. Yeah. How is this behaving in? Um, yeah. Is the 50 week is the 50 uh the 50 ema on the monthly the new 200 week moving average obviously we bottomed out there in 2017 or 2018 we bottomed out on that 50 ema uh you know march 2020 we touched it again what about in uh 2013 2014 yeah bottom out right on there Ooh, baby we might be on you might be onto something i'm not gonna say we i had nothing to do with this uh, yeah, bottoming out on that 50 EMA, very, very interesting. Very interesting. I thank you for pointing that out. Very interesting. Um, all right, let's go ahead and check chat real quick before we continue. Uh, shout out to Boots for pointing that out. I appreciate you guys. 485 people in here. Thank you all so much for being in here. I hope you're learning something. I hope you're finding this interesting. Um, definitely smash that like button, guys, if you like the content and you want to support your boy Frankie Candles. Uh, and if you want to win some free Cardano NFTs, definitely go ahead and smash that like button um, and get some extra spins on the wheel. Even though you guys know I give you extra spins no matter what, uh, we'll give you extra, extra, extra spins if you smash that like button. I'd appreciate it. It helps out the channel a lot. Uh, I love y'all for hitting that like button so much. Um, two things that I would say are different is market maturity and the amount of inflation uh, in comparison to other cycles. Yeah, Jonathan, I think that might be, I think that might be, uh, you know, what, could have made this top come in higher. We have crazy inflation, right? Crazy manipulation in this cycle. The market is much more mature, right? So that would indicate possibly that we don't come down as much because there's more money in the market, more institutional money. Uh, you know, it makes it a little more stable. As you get logarithmic regression, diminished returns, right? The market starts to flatten out and become a little more mature, less volatile. Um, so definitely, yeah, very, very good point. I would agree with that, Jonathan. Um, not saying it's going up. That's the other thing too, guys. I, I'm not, like, we're not the channel that thinks the bear market's over. That's why I said could be over, right? I just wanted to present this evidence for you guys so you can make your own decisions. Again, I think it's the less likely situation. I think we more likely have a long grueling bear market ahead of us and probably won't start another cycle until 24, 20, 2024, 2025. That's, that's kind of what I, that's the camp that I fall in. Um, but when you see these things line up, the DXY, right? Uh, you know, uh, the, the RSI, all these things that point to maybe the first top was the top and we've been in a bear market this whole time. When you see all these things add up, it's worth at least looking into. That's why I bring it to your attention. Um, Big Wick Energy, what is going on? Thank you for being back here, man. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, both good points, Jonathan. Yes, absolutely. Um, oh, God, we were lagging. Oh, God. Um, all right, let's see, let's see. Uh, come on, Super Chat. Yes, Crypto Billy. Uh, I had another conversation with, uh, you know, it's, it's taking us for, essentially what we, you need to have, uh, you need to have an EIN, 
right? Uh, they don't just let you get monetized. You have to get an EIN, you gotta submit it to YouTube, and for some reason, it's taking forever to get our EIN. I don't know what's taking so long. I've gotten EINs for previous businesses I've had in like a day. Uh, I, I don't know how, I don't know what's taking so long. It's been months. Uh, but we're working on it, I can guarantee you that. Uh, and as soon as they come, trust me, it's gonna be a big deal. The fact that we've waited this long for them, we're gonna make a huge deal about them when they come. Uh, let's see, uh, what's up, Curtis? Thank you for being here, I appreciate you. Um, Crypto Billy, good to see you. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, Frankie, in trading view, two charts side by side, when you put the cursor on the DXY, the cursor moves differently on the Bitcoin chart, even if you put it on the hour or 30 minutes. Uh, not James, thank you for being back here. Good to see you. Uh, not 100% sure what you mean by that. Um, yeah, not 100% sure exactly what you mean by that. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know if, to, so if you could clarify a little bit. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, uh, who is going to fund new all time highs with inflation and other issues going on in the world? We will see a pump. Definitely would short it when it tops out, though. Yeah, Shane, that's, yeah. I, I think, you know, when we do get a bounce inevitably, I think a bounce is coming either way. Um, I think a bounce is right around the corner. It's probably going to be a decent pump, um, but it's not going to be all-time highs, in my opinion. I really don't think it's going to be all-time highs. Uh, I, I'm going to be shorting it, too. I'm doing the same thing, man. Uh, I, I think we have a long, grueling bear market ahead of us. Uh, if this is the end of the bear market, that was the easiest bear market I've ever been in, and it didn't even feel like a bear market. Uh, but yeah, uh, again, like yeah, with the with the way things are right now in the world, um, very interesting. Uh, yeah, it's it's hard to argue that we're just gonna go see new all time highs anytime soon. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, uh, great guy Gav asked how we can add the blood diamonds. Uh, this is market cipher. It's an indicator that you can add to your trading view. It is paid. Um, we do have a discount code if you use, uh, uh, I think Tony or Tyler or Captain or Crypto Anon have my discount code. If you guys can throw that in there. I don't know if it's still valid, but I think it might be. Um, if you want to go check out marketcipher.com and use our, uh, our code to get a discount, um, you can get this as well. Um, um, all right, let's see, let's see. Um, uh, let's see, double top theory and DXY BTC relationship on syllabus today at FCU. Love it, a scholar for sure. Let's go, Crypto Billy, I appreciate you, brother. Uh, flip the table already. <laughs> uh, let's see, I think it's just major coincidence. We are also on track with BTC cycle and BTC mining cycle. It's obviously more tied to Bitcoin than DXY is. Chemistry, bro, yeah, that's, yeah, that's basically how I feel. Um, I like to point these things out because they present themselves. I think they're interesting to look at, but yeah. Um, yeah, I feel that, uh, I, I think the cycles are pretty much intact. I, I, everyone's like, this cycle's been so different. The cycles are broken. Not really. I mean, yeah, this cycle was different, but they've all been a little different. None of them have been exactly the same. The timelines are almost the same, maybe, you know, a little difference in the timelines. Um, but as far as how they play out, they all have their quirks. Uh, here, massive blow off top in 2017, the good old days, just massive, crazy euphoria, blow off top, and then sink down to the bear market. And then it had a little fake pump here, a little fake bull market in 2019. And then... In 2013, 2014, uh, we had a double top. So, yeah, it's it's uh, you know they all have their quirks, right? You have a top here, and then another massive higher high over here. Uh, so, and then in our bull market that we just currently went through, uh, you know this quirk was another double top, much closer to each other, but a double top. Uh, and then that was the quirk for this one. So I think the I think the cycles are totally still intact, if you ask me. Um, let's see. Uh, I am also starting to believe the first top was the real top and the second top was a dead cat that went too high due to money printing and inflation. Yeah, Hutmo, that's kind of my thing is I think that's something that could have brought that uh, that second top higher was money printing totally could have done that. Uh, oh my God, could you imagine what this chat would look like with gifts? Yeah, probably be pretty insane. Uh, let's see, Frankie, so you think 14K is not going to be the lowest in this bear market, like Ben said. The Godfather is in chat, guys. Show the Godfather some respect in chat, guys. He is the boss. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things to keep it, take into consideration with that. If we see, 
what you have to understand about Bitcoin is it has an 85% drop. Bitcoin will drop 85% about uh, in every cycle in the bear market, right? But Bitcoin was created in response to the 2008 financial crisis, right? So we haven't seen Bitcoin, every bear market for Bitcoin has basically been when traditional markets have been in a bull run, right? So we've never seen, I've said this many times, we've never seen how Bitcoin behaves in an overall bear market or an overall financial crisis. Um, so, you know, an 85% drop for Bitcoin is typical when the macroeconomic environment is positive, right? So even the bear markets for Bitcoin are happening when the, when the economic environment in the world is still generally good. But if we have financial collapse, and then Bitcoin goes into a bear market, I, I would personally think bear mar the uh, Bitcoin would suffer much worse than a traditional bear market. So again, if we go into a recession or something like that, Bitcoin is probably going to tumble way worse than it has in any other bear market, if I had to guess, right? Or maybe everybody flocks to Bitcoin, but that's probably not gonna happen because in a financial crisis like that, people don't flock to risk on assets, right? They want risk off assets. Um, they, they want safe assets. They don't want, they don't want to put their money in something volatile like crypto. Uh, so uh, you just have to remember, Bitcoin has had bear markets, but essentially all the bear markets for Bitcoin so far in every cycle have been in a macro bull market. They've occurred in a, in a financial bull market macro wise, if that makes sense. Um, so you have to remember that. Uh, Frankie, we were talking about a cup and handle on the 15 minute on Discord about 29S. Uh, Frank, we were talking about, about a cup and handle, 15 minutes on the Discord. Um, Hutmo, respect. Sheesh. Decay Grim, what is going on, man? Billy's, we out here. Let's go. Market Matt says, Daddy, let's go. Uh, all hail the Godfather. <laughs> let's go, Crypto Anon. Um, XRP Shill Billy, welcome back. What's going on? Shane Bowers, FYI, Frankie, I've been following you on the channel since you came to BitBoy. And you have changed so much and are doing excellent. Keep it up. Shane, shout out to Shane. I appreciate that, Shane. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, my man. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, we try. We try. We try, uh, I try. I try to improve every day. So I appreciate that. Steve Gubelman. We got Uncle Steve in the chat. What's up, Uncle Steve? Thank you for being here, man. I love, I love seeing you in chat, Uncle Steve. What is going on? Uh, let's see. Frankie, is it possible... Is it possible the top of the bull market was supposed to be in between the two tops? Possible. Possible. Nothing is impossible. Not on this channel. Um, let's see. Everybody say what's up to Uncle Steve in chat. Let's go. Uh, let's see. That's a really good point. V-Slim, absolutely. Uh, light them candles, Frankie. American Rexy, what is going on? Might be a massive head and shoulders to the downside. Uh -huh. Don't say that. Who said that? Uh, George. George. What are you saying? Are you saying, uh, uh, hang on. Are you saying shoulder, head, shoulder? You know what that means? Boop, boop. Bada boom, baby. That means this thing's going to zero. It's going to zero. Uh, I think that's what you mean. Not impossible. Not not impossible. Especially with that yellow X to finish it off. Just dump it down. Uh, all right. Let's see. Uh, what do you think is going to happen when the Fed runs off their balance sheet, which they haven't done quite yet? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ugh. That That's another thing, guys. The Fed... I just think the macroeconomic environment right now is, is if we were going to see an extended cycle, it, it, it's, this is not the macro environment for that to happen. It's just not. Uh, um, let's see. Let's see. What's up, Uncle Steve? What's up, Uncle? Hey, showing love to Uncle Steve in the chat. I love it. I love it. Uh, George wants the DCA. Uh, where would the 400-day bottom put us if the top was in the middle uh let's see um i mean i guess the middle being here about like about here 
Um, that would put us 409 or about 400 days. September 2022 is where that would bring us. Uh, let's see. Four-year cycle perfectly intact. Yeah, Looney. I, yeah, I, I have to. I tend to agree. Uh, until we see Bitcoin do something different, we have to assume it's going to keep repeating itself as it has in the past, right? Um, and then once something different happens, I'm happy to flip. I'm happy. Uh, you know, I'm not going to sit here and just be like, you know, if this thing makes another all-time high, I'm not going to be like, no, the cycle's still intact. Like, I, I'm, I'm not a crazy person, right? Uh, I don't know how people do that. It's like when Bitcoin's in clear bear market, people are still like, no, it's still a bull market. Like, I, I don't know how people do that um, without having, like, real evidence to have behind that. It's like, I, 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 I don't know. There, there is... The people who do that, just so you guys know, I say this a lot. I just want to say it one more time. Uh, the people who consistently tell you that Bitcoin is in a bull market, when you're looking at the chart like, we've been going down for a long time. I don't know if it's still a bull If you're questioning yourself and people are just still telling you it's a bull market, it's a bull market, it's a bull market, they're doing that because it's good for YouTube ratings. I will never do that to you. If I think Bitcoin's going down, I'm going to tell you it's going down. I don't care... Uh, you know, if you guys are going to lose interest or people aren't going to watch my YouTube channel anymore because I'm telling them what they don't want to hear. Uh, because essentially the people who just tell you bull market, bull market, bull market are going to get their viewers wrecked. And that's not a sustainable business model, right? I'm here to tell you what I see on the charts and what I think is going to happen, regardless of how I think it'll make you feel. I am not interested in keeping the dangling the carrot in front of your face so you keep coming back to my YouTube channel. I am interested in teaching you strategies on how to trade and DCA and long-term invest to help you make money. I don't care about the ratings. I am my, my main goal of this channel, obviously, we want the channel to grow. It is a business. We, we want to make money too, but... Uh, that is not my main goal. My main goal is to help you guys because the more I help you, the bigger the channel is going to get because people will keep coming back. I will never just tell you something to keep the ratings coming. A lot of people out there on YouTube do that. So don't, don't, let, them, don't, let, them, don't let them do that to you. That's a, that's, that's a really messed up thing to do. Uh, anyway, let's see. Uh, you and Ben take up a lot of my day during the week. Uh, keep up the good work. Grant, I appreciate you. Uh, good to know that you're keeping an eye on us and we're able to help you out. Uh, so shout out to Grant. I appreciate you. Um, sounds good. Thanks, Frankie. No problem, Nick. Um, I just want cheap ETH. If we hit 1K on ETH, I'll buy 30 to 40. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all in on ETH uh, if it goes down to 1,000. Um, if people can hold through this and stay in the crypto market, it will pay off, in my opinion. Last chance to make life-changing wealth in the next few years if you miss the first few rounds. Yes, Craig, absolutely. Craig Wayne Wayne, absolutely. Excuse me, 100%. Lost profit, what is going on, man? Thank you for being here. Uh, all right, let's see. Nine weeks of red candles means we are not in a bull market. Now, if you have a long time, time horizon, 10 years plus, then I can see someone being bullish on Bitcoin. That's my thing. It's like, I'm bullish on Bitcoin. And I'll be the first person to tell you we are in the depths of a bear market right now. I'm bullish on Bitcoin long term. Like, you could be bullish on Bitcoin long term without telling your audience it's about to go back up. Like, they do that. They're like, is Bitcoin about to go back to all-time highs to keep people clicking on their, on their videos? Uh, it's just messed up. It's messed up. Those people do not care about you. Those people do not care about you. Uh, sometimes the most – some, guys, most of the time, the best advice you'll ever get in your life is the advice you don't want to hear. I learned that early in my life. If someone gives you advice and it hurts your feelings, go home, sit down by yourself, and truly think about why it hurt your feelings. It's probably because it was true. Just saying. I know it's hard to do, but trust me, when someone says, you know, judges me or gives me advice, like, hey, you're bad at this, you should work on that, first thing in your head, you want to be like, ah, shut up, he's a hater. But sometimes that's the best advice. Um, so if it hurts your feelings, maybe pay a little extra attention to that advice. So when someone says the markets are going down and you're like, no, it's a bull market, I don't believe you, maybe you should think twice. Uh, let's see. Uh, we can take a look at AVAX, Yusef. Um, I hope things drop further. I would like, yeah, I'll be honest, guys. I'm cheering for this thing to go down. I, I, I want crypto to go down. I really do. I, I want to get in at lower prices and I want to short. Shorting is fun. The short money comes in quick. The short money comes in faster than the long money. It does. It just does. I don't know why. It just does. Price drops a lot faster than it, than it jumps. Or at least that's what it seems. I, I don't have any, like, legitimate measurement to guarantee that that's fact, uh, but it just does, it seems that when the money, when the money comes in faster on shorts for some reason. Uh, 
I am, <coughs> as I cough, I am, I am feeling better today. Um, still got a little sniffle going on, but I'm good. Uh, let's see. Uh, my goal is to help make Frankie's channel bigger than ATB. It's going to happen. Just tell your friends. Have them join the mafia. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Creep into 16K, guys. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, I learned so much from Frankie, even life lessons. Let's go to Godfather. I appreciate you. Um, all right, let's see. I DCA that like button daily. Let's go, XRP Show Billy. Uh, here comes harsh truth. <laughs> here comes harsh truth, Frankie. You're awesome. Ah, oh, I appreciate you, chemistry bro. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, Frankie, you're a gangster. I appreciate you. Uh, Infantry Five, I love you. Uh, do you have a video explaining how to short? I do. Uh, Blake Small. Uh, so I do. I have a money. Uh, I have a money. I have a video on the channel. I believe uh, if Tony or Tyler or uh, or uh, Crypto Anon or Captain Kirk, if somebody can grab uh... Tyler Durden is uh, some kind of wizard. Uh, I'm saying it now. Uh, we're gonna get right back into the charts real quick, guys. But but I gotta tell you something. Tyler Durden is up to something. I don't know if he's a wizard. I don't know if he's like hacked my brain. He, 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 he. Yeah, <laughs> Tony, Tony goes, Tyler, are you joking right now? I don't know how he does it so fast. Hey, Frank, do you have a how to short video? Uh, yeah. Hey, Tyler, bloom. Tyler puts the link in before I ask. I think he puts it in, he knows before people chat. I don't know how he does it. Tyler, you're creeping me out, dude, but shout out to you because I don't know anybody who could do that faster. You are, you are the best at that, at all. I would put my life on that. You are the fastest person. You are the fastest YouTube mod to post links specifically on earth. Um, anyway, man's out of control. <laughs> yeah, Tony, what is good with this guy? Tyler, you're a superhuman, Tyler. Thank you. I appreciate you. But yeah, there you go. Had a short video. Tyler just put it in there. Thank you, Tyler. I appreciate you. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, the mods are half this channel. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Tyler with the Frankie brain hack. <laughs> Best mods in crypto. Yeah. Uh, I would argue, uh, Wick, I would argue that the mods are 75% of this channel. The mods do more than I could ever ask for. I love each and every single one of you guys. You guys are the best. Anyway, um, let's get back to the charts, guys. Um, let's go ahead and check on Ethereum. Coming in at about 1750 right now. It just doesn't look good, guys. I do think we could come lower. I mean, if you come to these higher daily time frames or we the, the weekly, I mean... You just look at how oversold this stuff is. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it, the RSIs are low, 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 low. I mean, this is the lowest this has been ever, or at least in the history of this chart since 2019, uh, which isn't forever. But, uh, I mean, yeah, RSIs are really low. Um, let me just get rid of this and pull back up market cipher B. Uh, but, yeah, so, um, wow, okay. Massive uh, bullish divergence on the three-day. Uh, but, yeah, uh, this is, this is, uh, wait, what? Oh, oh, my God, I didn't, I clicked the 16-hour. I thought that was the daily. I was like, where'd the yellow X go? It was confirmed. How did it disappear? Um, but yeah, guys, I, so, I mean, ETH actually getting pretty close to, I mean, basically double bottoming right here. Uh, are we going to break this and come lower? I, I, it's hard to say. This daily money flow on ETH and Bitcoin is very, very, very low. I, we are close, close to a bottom here, guys. Notice I say a bottom. Uh, I, we got to be close to bottoming out here. Uh, you know, with, with Bitcoin just moving sideways like crazy, it feels like we've been coming down forever, but essentially for the past 15 days, we've been going sideways. Um, but I do think we're probably bottoming out pretty soon here on, uh, on Bitcoin and Ethereum. We need, uh, here's another thing that can support that if we come back to the Bitcoin chart. Um, did you guys hear that? This is frozen. This, this, uh, this water is frozen in this blue can, this, red, this blue and silver can. Uh, James said, when he does side by side chart viewing on trading view with the same time frame, the cursor ends up in different places on the chart. Uh, 
I'll, I'll get back. I'll come back to that and try to clear that up uh, in a second here. Let me just finish up with what we're talking about right here. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, 72% of watchers have smashed that like button. Let's go. Uh, ETH going to 1100. I hope so. I hope so. And I still hold some of my ETH too, and I still want it going that low. Uh, let's see. Um, hey, Captain in the house. What is going on, Captain? Uh, thank you for being here. I appreciate you, Captain Kirk. You are, you are the best. Um, oh, him, him thirsty. Some, someone beer Frankie some some energy drink uh let's see first time watching frankie i'll hit that like button now y'all good people craig craig wayne welcome to the fan welcome to the fandle coffee welcome to the fandle coffee welcome to the candle mafia my man the best community on youtube with the best mods in the game where i frankie candle show you how to make money trading crypto whether the price is going up or down because we are in the midst of a bear market but I'm feeling like we're in the midst of a bull market because I'm up about almost two grand on this trade uh, and Bitcoin's just tanking. And I'm just, we're just, we're, we're making money over here. I got another trade over here, up 50 bucks almost. Or actually, no, more than that. I still, I pulled out 30 bucks in profit. So we're profiting whether the price is going up or down. So welcome, Craig. Welcome to the best family on YouTube. Uh, we have a lot of fun and we got the best community. The Candle Mafia is what makes this channel good. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> I, ooh. What was I? I brought up this. I brought up the Bitcoin chart. Why did I do it? Why did I do it? Oh no, guys. Why did I bring this chart up? Bitcoin finding a bottom. I said Bitcoin was finding a bottom, and this was something that. Um, I mean, your red money flow wave is coming down. Oh, here, here you go. Uh, six day. This is another reason why I think we're close to uh, bottoming out here, at least for the short term, right? Maybe we bottom up, get a bottom out, get a relief bounce, go into a full blown recession. Maybe the that new uh, that that new skin condition or the the I don't I don't want to say anything YouTube doesn't like. There's there might be a new pandemic uh, on the horizon. Ooh, uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, maybe something like that happens, and then we go into a full recession, and then you know the whole thing gets everything gets changed, and everything that typically happens in this market is completely thrown out the window. Who knows? But um, this is why I think we could be finding a uh, a, a pre coming pretty close to a bottom, guys. Weekly, uh, you know, we're coming down in the red. I mean, we didn't come down as. Uh, as deep as we did in 2017 quite yet, but here's here's a good point, right? We had this big 50% capitulation in 2017, right? After we came all the way down, waddled sideways for a little bit, and then just boom, uh, just kind of crab walked, and then big 50% 50% capitulation down to the downside, and then kind of just crabbed sideways again. Um, by the time we, yeah, I mean you can't make this up. Uh, so by the time we found a bottom right here. Where was our money flow? So if we go back to that candle, where was our money flow here? Right about, I'm gonna put a horizontal line on it, right about there. So when we bottomed out in 2017, our money flow was, oh. So when we bottomed out in 2017, our red money flow wave was down to this white line. So not that we have to go exactly down to that white line again, but this could be close to the bottom. This money flow wave is about as low as it was when we found a bottom in 2017. So that could be pointing to the fact that we have a bottom coming in here. Um, and then, you know, as you came sideways, the money flow came deeper into the red, even though you didn't come down with price, you just kind of walked, kind of crabbed sideways. So maybe we see that. Maybe even if we come down a little lower, and then touch that you know mid to low 20s area and then just kind of crab sideways for a long time right i mean chances are we'll probably get maybe i think it we might get a little lower low and then come up for a relief bounce and then i think we might come down to make our actual bottom and then waddle sideways it's really hard to call guys there's a million different things that could happen but um there, I mean, there are a lot of things pointing to the fact that we could be finding a bottom. So that money flow wave um, is about at the level where we found a bottom in 2017. Uh, so there's one thing that points to us being at a bottom. And now here's another thing. If you come to the five-day chart, you'll notice 
Uh, well, I guess your money flow is actually coming back down, but you have your VWAP coming up on your five day chart here, looking like it wants to pierce through that zero line, uh, printing a green dot, right? You are currently printing a green dot on your four day. Um, so this could also bring you up your three day, printed a green dot a while ago. So you have these green dots popping up on the higher hour, uh, higher daily time frames. Um, that's another reason why you could see uh, a bottom come in here. Also your VWAP uh, on the weekly is coming up towards that zero line again. And um, you will notice that right here uh, in 2017, if we zoom in here to 2017, right? The bottom of your VWAP, right? The actual tip right here of your VWAP didn't mark the exact bottom, but it was showing that you got close to the bottom. And you will see here, you know, we did uh, peak uh, the peak of our VWAP below the zero line on this uh, price action. It could indicate that we're getting pretty close to the bottom, right? Um, you know, this was actually on this big candle all the way down, but yeah could be indicating that we, we are very close. I do think we're very close to the bottom. Long story short, I think we're close to the bottom, guys. And even if we wind up having a relief pump, we could come lower, but I think for now, for the short term, if it's not the actual bottom of the bear market, I think we're at least getting very close to a short term bottom. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, inverse head and shoulders forming on low time frames. Oh, baby. Um, I have a horrible feeling we are going to get a bounce very soon with a fake out down. Yeah, crypto anon, definitely possible, definitely possible. Saying that we're getting head and shoulders on the lower time frames. Um, what kind of lower time frames are we talking? Frankie, what happened today in chart supporting dot price to keep holding? Frankie, what happened today in chart supporting dot price to keep holding? Oh no, <laughs> oh no. Am I reading that wrong or can I not read, guys? I don't know why this keeps happening to me. If you guys follow me on Twitter, or you, if you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, Frankie underscore Candles. We just put a clip up of the other day. I read a chat that made no sense and I thought it was having a stroke. Uh, I, I think it might be at Frankie, what happened today in chart supporting dot price to keep holding? What happened today in chart supporting dot price to keep holding? Supporting dot price to keep. What happened on the chart? Supporting dot price to keep holding. No, I guess that, that kind of makes sense. But Frank, we have not have a week of red money flow. But Frank, we have not had a week of red money flow. Uh, look at the monthly VWAP. Uh, let's see, we could do that monthly. Uh, let's go to Bitstamp. Um, yeah, I mean, the monthly VWAP, yeah, I mean, I, I think, I don't think we're going to come down that much more. I think this will eventually turn back up. Money flow coming down, but, um, yeah. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, <laughs> GU men. I, G, G, I, I don't know how to say your name, but thank you. Yeah, that's kind yeah, it kind of did make sense, I guess. Um, why, why the, dot, we'll look at dot in a second. Um, I mean, what happened to dot in the charts? <laughs> okay. Yeah. It, well, it wasn't that hard to decode, but yeah, I, the other day someone said something that made no sense whatsoever and I was totally lost. It was hilarious. Frankie getting trolled by the chat again. <laughs> Looney, Looney, no. Frankie versus the English language. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Don't sweat it. Some people just can't communicate properly. V Slim, shout out to V Slim. And some people just can't read. They might, I might just not be able to read. Uh, it's fun watching them try to figure it out. My bad. Meant weekly, sorry. Oh, weekly, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's what we were just looking at. Um, yeah, VWAP coming up. I think we're getting close to a bottom. I mean, last time we had the VWAP, uh, we entered into uh, this big capitulation phase. Money flow came into the red. Then we got the VWAP coming down, and then the VWAP crossed up and stayed above the zero line, uh, you know, until we came up again. So, and then we dipped into the red a little bit over here. But, um, yeah, it is looking like we could be getting close to a bottom. Um, ETH, uh, yeah, okay, so let's take a look at ETH. 1741. 
<coughs> money flow finally getting real close to that zero line on the weekly. Uh, we have not gone into the red on the weekly with ETH. But yeah, daily yellow X. Again, double bottoming. We already kind of took a look at this. Uh, double bottoming here. Um, but I mean, yeah, I, I, I think... It's so hard to say. We need a big move. I just feel like it's the same thing every single day. The price just hasn't moved. Um, but, yeah, I mean, look at the money flow on ETH. Just way, way, way down there. Uh, let's come back to 2017 and see where that money flow wound up going in the bear market. Bada boom. Here we are. Um, 2019. Of course, there's not enough information on the chart. Um, but, I mean, this daily, this money flow is deep, guys. That is really deep. Um, I think we're going to find a bottom here very soon. Even if it's a temporary bottom or a short-term bottom, I think it's coming in. Let's talk, uh, let's talk worst-case scenario. Let's talk worst-case scenario. So, obviously, ETH has room to go down further. Uh... You know, I wouldn't expect to really go below the all -time, the last all-time high, which was about 1400. So I'm just gonna go ahead, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put a line at for about 1400, um, just because I don't think we'll go much lower than that. But um, you know, if we lose this level, yeah, if we lose this level, I mean, that's probably gonna be your like your next stop. I mean, 1,600 even would give you some nice support, most likely. Um, but we're like, you know, we're not that far away from that. Um, but I would watch, yeah, 1,600 even, going to give you decent support, psychological support, probably. Um, and then also, you know, 1,400 even uh, is probably going to be your, like, last line of defense before you really start tanking down there. Uh, because 600... 600 is another area uh, that could be, uh, you know, if we break 1400, you know, we co totally crack. And if we, I would say if we crack 1200, uh, we could totally have a quick drop down to about, you know, eight, six to 800. Um, but we're not there yet. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. We're not there yet. That'd be like apocalyptic situation. So um, we'll have to see. 1400, probably worst case scenario in regular circumstances. Again, I don't think we'll come below that previous all-time high. It's never really happened. Um, so uh, definitely, definitely, you know, not out of the question that we come below there, but let's let's see what happens first. Uh, did you see the DCA chart on the XRP daily? Uh, it was from Crypto, Crypto and Cannolis. Wait, what? Crypto and Cannolis? Wait, is Crypto and Cannolis a thing? Someone, somebody told me in chat, like someone left a comment or so, someone said somewhere, that I should have a podcast and call it Crypto and Cannolis. But Crypto Anon, I can't tell if you're trolling or or if Crypto and Cannolis is an actual thing. Because if it is, I'm pissed. Because I wanted to, I was down to do that Crypto and Cannolis. We're going to have to do like uh, Cryptos and uh, Cryptos and Capicola or something. I don't know. Uh, Frankie's teacher learned him real good. <laughs> I read I read good. Uh, <laughs> the worst case is that we go back to the 2020 lows of 4k and hundred dollars. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think it's unlikely, but yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I guess worst case scenario would be everything goes to zero. Um, but yeah, uh, shout out to Lane. What's up Lane? Appreciate you for being back here, brother. Uh, why everybody fudding their pants on ETH lately? <laughs> uh, um, no, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm not saying we're going to 1600. I'm not saying we're going to uh, 600 or even 1400. I'm just saying like worst case scenario, um, you know, worst case scenario. I mean, we're not that far away from 1600. So uh, 1600, I would hope to hold. If we break that, probably looking to get down to 1400. Um, but I love ETH. I still hold some of my ETH. Uh, oh, he's trolling. Okay, that's what I thought. So crypto, crypto and pasta fagioli. <laughs> yeah, crypto and pasta fagioli. So we can still do crypto and cannolis? Crypto Anon. Well, well, you're going to be the first guest on the show if we do crypto and cannolis. Uh, we'll f I'll fly you down here, and uh, but you got to bring the cannolis from New York because you're not going to find cannolis out here. That's for sure. Uh, so you bring the cannolis. Uh, I'll bring the. Uh, I'll bring the. I won't bring anything because we have no good Italian food down here. But you bring the cannolis, and I'll bring the podcast. Let's go. Um, Candle Mafia, give me my sauce. Will yum yum. What is going on, man? Thank you for being here. Uh, Frankie Chew Panther Diamond Pants. Uh, 
go with cryptos and crypto and calzones. Let's go. I like that. I like that. Um, all right. Uh, yo, Frankie, I got my A to NFT from your last giveaway. Thanks. Have you heard of Truebit? Its founder was one of the original ETH founders. Yes, I have heard of Truebit. Uh, John, I'm glad you got your, uh, is it a rebel? I think it was a rebellion NFT. Um, I hope you liked it. Shout out to you. We're about to give more out today. Let's go. Um, yeah, let's do it. I'm down. Let's go, Crypto Anon. Uh, Frankie, my man, my man, based on what you see, is there any chance it drops below 1K? Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, below 1K, I mean, I would say, yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I mean, if, yeah, if you, if you come down to a, to a thousand, I mean, there's not much historical support. Like, right here, like, right here is a, basically a giant gap. There's, like, not a lot of historical support in this area. Uh, so, chances are, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, if you break 1,400, yeah, I mean, I'll say if you break a thousand, if you come down to a thousand, now, now we are nowhere near that. Like we're pretty far away from that. So I'm not saying this is a scenario that we'll find ourselves in, but if you break a thousand, you're probably going to come right down to six to eight hundred pretty quickly. There's not a lot of support there. Um, you know, you got some support here, but like, yeah, like once you break that, once you break that thousand mark, it's probably going to be quickly down to six hundred because uh, we went from six hundred up to a thousand pretty quickly. Um, and, and you got this big gap in volume right here, too. So that could make you fall pretty hard. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, price can go as low as possible. Oh, as people are willing to sell also, as high as people are willing to buy. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Bing Bong, your boy Al is in the house. Mr. A, or Al as we call him, is in the house. Thank you for being here, man. I appreciate you, Al. You are the man. Um, let's see. East 2.0 update not going well would give you uh, less than 1K. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to say this, I, I'll be honest. I don't really have high hopes for the, for the, uh, for the merge. I, I don't, I just feel like it's got to go absolutely flawless or it's going to be a nightmare in my opinion. I could be wrong, but if this thing does not go perfect, it's going to be a nightmare. Um, Frankie, do you look at metaverse charts sometimes too? Do they make any sense? Some of them are really, really new, so they're hard to do TA on. Um, but I do look at some stuff. <coughs> the pain might be over soon. Explain, please. Uh, who said that? Uh, Cora. Uh, it's a long story. Uh, we went over it in the beginning of the stream if you want to scrub back. Um, but basically, all I was doing was uh, showing, the, uh, showing the possibility. Um, so we were... I'm not saying that the pain is gonna be over soon, uh, but I, we were just saying, uh, could the bear market be over soon? Um, talking, we were talking about the false top theory. So if you wanna scroll back and watch that, we were, we were trying to make an argument that this could possibly be the actual top. Um, now, again, I said this like a billion times as I explained it, I think this is the way, way less likely situation, but there is inf inf interesting information uh, that could point to this actually being the top and the start of the bear market rather than this. So this would, would basically just be a dead cap bounce that made a higher high. Um, and then this was the real top and the real beginning of the bear market. And if that were the case, and you measured from this actual top, if that were, were the case, I'm not saying this is the case. I'm just saying there's information that proves that it could be possible. Um, if this was the actual top, if you measure out to where we are right now, 409 days is close to the amount of days between the top and the bottom of a bear, the top of a cycle and the bottom of a cycle in the previous bull and bear markets. Um, so it could indicate that if this was the actual top, this could be the end of the bear market. Again, probably less likely situation. I, I don't tend to believe that, um, but we go over a few different uh, pieces of evidence that support that in being a possibility. So. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, again, though, I think we have a long, grueling bear market ahead of us, uh, in my own personal opinion. Um, the pasta war. <laughs> uh, Enrique Swap says, uses Italian grandmother voice, the pasta water. She must taste like the sea. <laughs> uh, 
This could literally be the floor if we are going off the 10% regression. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Uh, can you take a look at Omi? Uh, Lars, yeah, we're going to take a... If you guys want to see some uh, altcoins, go ahead and throw them in chat. We'll uh, start taking a look at them here uh, soon. Uh, will a trust wallet work for ADA NFTs? I'm actually not sure. Love all y'all truckers. Uh, let's go. Let's go, Mr. A. Um, uh, if people graphed gas prices, people would have said gas will never go to five dollars. Uh, never go to five dollars a gallon based on some historical data or some shape. Uh, but in the end, of some will buy it. Yeah, absolutely. XRP Shibley. Uh, Gala, Harmony One, Adam, Matic. <laughs> Uh, Ave, Crypto Billy, I see you. TRX, let's go. Uh, no problem, Mars. I got you. I got you. Um, all right. Let's uh, actually let's take a look at Steppen, guys. Let's take a look at Steppen. As you guys know, Steppen took a little bit of a tumble. Let's just check on our trades real quick here. Okay, back up on this one. Twenty-five percent. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Guys, how much profit should I take off of this trade here? I'm probably gonna take a little profit off this. Uh, off this ETH trade, how much should I take? How risky are we feeling? Should I just leave it all in? I'll let you guys make the decision. Here, this is this is this is when this is when the trades probably go south. Uh, but I'm just gonna let you guys make the call. How much profit should we pull off of this? Uh, let me know. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Uh, 783 in profit. Already got 830 taken out in profit. Uh, 783 though. Uh, how much of that should I should I pull out on our next take profit? Should I take half? 10%, 25%, or should I just leave it all in like a degenerate? Let me know. Let me know. Um, all right, <clears throat> let's see. Um, okay, so step in. Here we go. Uh, actually, let's uh, let's pull up coin market cap real quick. Um, okay, boom. Probably gonna be at the top of the biggest gainers. <laughs> oh no, UST. Uh, where's GMT? Is this thing not down like crazy? This thing was, uh, what's going on? Am I blind? What is happening? I guess it refreshed. What happened? Oh, GMT. Oh, oh, because it bounced. That's why. Okay. Uh, all right, whatever. We'll just look at this. Um, okay. So GMT came all the way back down to visit this value area low. As you guys know, with these uh, fixed range volume profiles, uh, typically you have the point of control in the middle here, right? Now this is the, the, all this is, is the level that the most volume was traded within the given range, right? So within, uh, this time frame from April 19th, all the way to, uh, May 27th today, uh, the most volume was traded at this level right here, this red line. It's also known as the point of control. So typically when you have price, uh, you know, come away from the point of control. So right now we're coming down away from the point of control, closer to this value area low right here. Um, but when this happens, typically you do get sucked back up towards the point of control. Um, but yeah, finding some good support down here, uh, coming in at about 97, <clears throat> excuse me, 97 cents. Uh, so zoom in a little bit here and take a look. Um, yeah, one hour money flow coming up. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. Four hour money flow in the red. Uh, let's see, does the daily have a yellow X, the question? No yellow X on the daily. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think this thing will, this thing will probably bounce back a little bit. But guys, there could be a lot more pain for these altcoins coming up. Like, like, I know a lot of these altcoins are down like 85%, but that it, they could come down more. Um, if you've been through a bear market, you know how brutal it can get. I, I, I know everybody's eager for the bear market to be over. And hey, listen, if the thing we covered in the beginning of the stream turns out to be true, maybe the pain is almost over. But in my own opinion, I do think we have a lot longer to go. And uh, I know people want this bear market to wrap up, but... Chances are we are just getting started here, right? Uh, like there's probably a lot more pain and a lot more boredom to come. So just want to let you guys know that. Um, 
Uh, increase the row size to get a better read on the volume. Yeah, we can do that. Higher resolution. I like the way you said that. Boom, there you go. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, they can go down another 85%. Yeah. Uh, suave, what you mean? I need the sauce. Uh, I hate to say it because it hurts wallets, but I really hope we have a nice deep drop I'm loving the buy-in points. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I am the best buyer at the top in the world. <laughs> Let's go, Crypto Billy. Um, oh, step and fell due to China regulations. Interesting. I did not know that. Um, <laughs> I see you, Jonathan Anderson. I see you. Uh, take 100% profit. It's going to pump soon. Um, let's see. Okay, hang on. Uh, let me just read these percentages. Wow, we got a lot of people saying... Crypto Anon says 50%. Uh, Drunken Sasquatch says 10%. 50, 50, 20, 50, 10, 100, 100, 69, 50, 30, 60, 59, 50, 80, 60, 69, 69.42%. <laughs> Captain Kirk, I see you. Uh, 30, 60 to 80. All right, so you guys, I think the general consensus is uh, take most of it out. What's up, user seven? What is going on? Matt T, Frankie, been buying up ApeCoin, brother. Let's go. Frankie, don't say that. I'm down 50% already. Another 85% is no bueno for me. V Slim, it's okay. As long, hey, you only lose the money if you sell, right? If you got diamond hands, you won't lose the money. Uh, yeah, trying to block GPS apps under security claims Nike Garmin a whole lot. Wow. Thank God we don't live there. That's all I have to say. Um, <laughs> Kino, I appreciate you, man. He says, Frankie Candles is the man. Uh, leave it. We're about to continue down. Trust your TA. See, Blessed Auto Group knows what's up. Blessed Auto Group knows what's up. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know. Some people are saying leave it all in. Some people are saying get rid of it all. I don't know. I don't know. I'm torn. I'm torn. Obviously, uh, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with taking all that profit, right? I... That, that's a, listen, I'm not a, I'm not a, you know, making million dollar trades here. So that's not a bad day for me, uh, you know, if we pull all that profit out. But, uh, yeah, I, I, cause I'll be honest, guys, I'm pretty, I'm pretty torn on, on, on what's going to happen here. Uh, you know, we're going to get a, the bounce is going to happen soon. The question is, are we going to get one more quick jump down before we go up? Uh, that's the gamble. That's the gamble. Um, all right, let's see. Diamond Hands is a narrative driven to push bag holders. Uh, can you talk about the BTC dominance and what you feel would be the altcoin bottom? Jay Rego, we could try to talk about that. Uh, Diamond Hands, smooth brain. There's a strategy. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, just hold it till it's worthless. Uh, <laughs> uh, pick a number, one or two. Chris, I picked two. It's my favorite number. Anyway. Okay, uh, let's take a look at some more of these alts. Oh, what just happened? What just happened? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I thought I just ended the stream, guys. Um, yeah, but, uh, bless auto group. That's probably what I'm going to do. That it? Oh, no. What's happening? We started another stream. Uh, are we still live? Let me know if we're still live, guys. I, I, I don't know what just happened. Um, Frankie sounds like every Luna investor. You only lose money if you sell. Yeah, guys, just so you know, I was completely joking about the diamond's hands thing. Uh, I mean, holding, holding certain things for a long term is, is a winning strategy. Holding like sketchy altcoins long term is not a good strategy. Um, okay. Trail your stop loss, yeah. Uh, let's see. I am short from 2025. Your chart, the big falling wedge on BTC. Your chart. Okay. Um, all right. Let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Polkadot. Somebody asked why Polkadot was holding up so well. I mean, I guess, I guess it's holding up pretty well. I mean, not really. Ah, yellow X on the daily. Definitely uh, two yellow X's. This could probably bring us down a little bit more. Um, yeah. 
money. I mean, this looks the same as Bitcoin. A lot of these are going to look the same as Bitcoin. Um, yeah, green dot. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard. I mean, at this point in the market, unless something like really is looking like it's going to turn around, um, <laughs> working dog said, sorry, just press the dislike button by accident while reaching for the chat button. Uh, that's okay. I'll take a dislike. Um, we forked the stream. Uh, no, you're good. What's up, Frankie? TA on Ada. Okay, let's pull up Ada. Uh, yeah, do we have a, do we have a hard fork on the stream? What happened? I don't know. Uh, uh, interesting. Frankie, check. Crowny. I think it's close to a bottom. Great fundamentals, in my opinion. Um, Trubit. That's right, bro. Shillbilly made me dress up too. Just a survey. Just serve it. Uh, KuCoin is unbelievably confusing. I just want XRP. Uh, Dill Cosby. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you should be able to get XRP pretty easily. Uh, you might get confused because they have different wallets. If you're going to buy XRP and it's not letting you buy it, it might be because your funds, your USDT or USDC, whatever you're using to buy, might be in your main account. You're going to want to go to your main account and go to transfer and then, set and then transfer it over. Uh, tra transfer from your main account to your trading account, and then you should be able to buy it. Who just tried to kick me off my trading view? Uh, we'll call it Frankie Classic. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, all right, guys, let's take a look at good old Cardano. There you go. Um, if Bitcoin continues to fall, probably a good chance you come back down here to maybe double bottom off uh, down here at about, uh, you know, 40 cents, 38 cents right here. I do think that Cardano is is a good chance that Cardano winds up coming down, uh, you know, to in into this box, right? Basically, worst case, I mean, not really. This is, I think, most likely, you'll probably get into the 30s. You'll probably get into the 30s with Cardano, uh, you know, before uh, coming back up. So that's kind of my thought. We've drawn these, we drew these lines. Uh, you know, we've gone over this a few times. Um, but if we come on over to the daily, yeah, yellow X on everything. Basically, right now, every uh, most things are looking identical to Bitcoin, right? They uh, everything's got the yellow X on the daily. All the money flow on the daily is coming down. Uh, you know, what's the weekly look like for ADA? Yeah, I mean, you're in the red on the weekly. VWAP coming back up. I mean, this also looks the same as Bitcoin. There's really not, um, you know, there's not really much to say about the altcoins in this current environment, right? Like they're gonna bleed. The altcoins are going to bleed. Even if Bitcoin pumps, the altcoins are still probably going to bleed, right? Uh, like, j just so you guys know, I am not really buying altcoins right now. I, I, I'm really not. Uh, granted, if you buy, if you're starting to DCA now and you're going to keep DCAing on the way down, you're not getting the worst entry. Um, but I, I'm not really buying altcoins right now. I am waiting... Uh, you know, I just feel like we haven't had that like, oh my God, look how cheap this is. Oh my God, what is happening to the markets? Like, I don't feel any fear right now. Uh, like, I know the market is feeling fear, but like, I don't know. I just feel like in previous bear markets, I've just been like, it's felt like a bear market. And I don't know if I'm just numb to it or what, but like, I just don't feel like it's really, like, I don't know. I just had, I, I, I'm not feeling the... I, I don't feel it. I just I just don't feel like we're, we are, we're at max pain. I really don't. Um, can you believe that? 38 cent ADA for the most stacked coin out there. The top 10 market cap. Meanwhile, Ape is at $6. Unreal. Um, yeah. I, yeah, that is. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. La, uh, yeah, I have started my Cardano DCA. I'm going to do like 2.5K ADA a month or something, finding good entries with TA. Yeah, Chemistry Pro, that's my thing is like, you can't go wrong as long as you're not going all in on, on one thing at one time, right? Like, even if alts are gonna bleed way more, as long as you're not putting all your money in, you're gonna catch those lower prices too. So it's all, DCAing is a great strategy. Uh, do I think ETH is an altcoin? 
Yes. ETH is undoubtedly an altcoin because it's not Bitcoin. To me, an altcoin is anything other than Bitcoin, technically. It's an alternative coin. Uh, but I, I, I don't, you know, ETH, uh, I don't consider ETH, it's a blue chip, right? It's a blue chip. It's not just like some sketchy altcoin that's not going to come back next next semester, I was going to say. <laughs> it won't be back next semester, guys. Uh, no, uh, I, I, it's, it, it's not something that I think is going to disappear in the next cycle. Like, it, it's, it's, it's an altcoin technically, but it's like, it's different. It's, it's the king altcoin. It's not going anywhere. Uh, and it, you know, it's like, it's one of the most widely used uh, platforms. It's, it's just, it's, it's not going anywhere. Um, you're numb to the pain. It's there though. Okay, Connor, maybe I just need to hear it from other people. Yeah, maybe I just don't feel the pain. I'm just so detached from it. Um, which is good for a trader, right? Like, I, I truly think that I've completely separated my emotions from the markets. Um, because, you know, I, I don't feel any pain. Uh, the other thing is too, I was saying this, like, I just feel like we're in another bull run because we're shortened on the way down. So I just feel like we're in another bull run. Um, but I do think it's too early to be the end of the bear market. I, I feel like we just started shorting. Like, I, I feel like we just started making good shorts. Uh, Frankie, don't you think BTC hasn't got that big blow off top? So it won't be that big of a drop. Uh, yeah, the Godfather. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's kind of what makes me think that, uh, you know, we could be bottoming out soon here. Uh, even if we come into the low to mid twenties, uh, you know, I, that's why I, I, I don't, you know, I don't know if we're going to come all the way down to 10 K or 14 K. Like some people think, um, you know, just for that reason, we didn't see max euphoria. Maybe we don't see max pain. Um, yeah, no, hundred percent to Godfather. Yes. Uh, alternative coin definition on the FCU syllabus today. Write it down. We'll be on the test. Crypto Billy, absolutely. Um, Romser, Pierre, what is going on? Thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Been short in six months, Frankie. I guess, yeah. I, I don't know what it is. I just feel like, uh, like, oh, like the party's over already. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like, yeah, I don't know. I, I could just be totally misjudging it. I, it just, I don't know. It didn't feel like. I, the other thing is, I guess, because like if you go, if you're going by cycle theory, the bear market's not going to be over until 2024, 2025. So I, we do have a long time, but we could have seen the max pain, and then we're just going to waddle, have a little pump, and then come back down and go sideways, and then come back up and come down, go sideways for the rest of the bear market before going back up in a new cycle. So we'll have to see what happens. Uh, what happens? Art, what is going on? Says Frankie Candles is the best. I appreciate you, Art. You're the best. Um, Crypto Beehive says, if you're not feeling pain, you're either a good trader or have the right amount invested. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I, I like, to, I like to think I'm maybe a little bit of both of those. Uh, uh, maybe more the first one than the second one though. Cause, uh, I do have a lot invested. Uh, let's see. ETH really is bleeding. Yeah. Uh, you needed to start shorting last May. You missed the majority of it. Uh, yeah. I mean, we were shortening last May, but it, it just didn't seem like the, the short party was on. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, like the shorts the shorts could start it right here. I mean, this, these would have been nice shorts. Could have rode these down and got rich. Uh, but yeah, weird times, weird times. Um, but anyway, um, let's see, let's see. I don't know what happened to our stream here, but I can't see... Uh, I can't, I, I don't know. I can't see our, uh, I can't see our views or anything like that, which is, uh, very annoying. Um, live now, live viewers. Okay. Interesting. I guess, um, sorry guys. I'm just trying to figure this out. Yeah. Can we, can we go? Oh, okay. There we go. We're back. We're back. Or do we just start a, a third stream? I just almost said a bad word. Uh, okay, I think we're back. Boom. All right, cool. 400 likes. Cool. 416 people. I appreciate it. Guys, 450 likes. I'll give you five spins on the wheel. Um, Going to be wrapping it up here in a couple of minutes here. Uh, let's see. Frankie, what were you doing before you entered crypto? Um, Jack Brennan, I have always been doing crypto in the background with all the other stuff I did. Now I'm lucky enough to do crypto full time. Thank God I am blessed. But uh, before this, I actually, I always, uh, so I, I always did a lot of things. Um, 
I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I, uh, I've, I've always done a bunch of stuff. Uh, I, I had a uh, Amazon FBA business, so I did uh, e-commerce. Um, I worked in TV. Uh, so I would say like traditionally, I was like traditionally worked in uh, television. So I work on like commercials, TV shows, stuff like that. Um, but was always had side businesses, always was uh, doing TA, learning crypto trading, all that stuff on the side. Uh, but now I'm lucky enough to do it full time. It's a beautiful thing. So um, yeah, the, the short, long story short, uh, yeah. Uh, I could probably, probably have a lot of interesting stories I could tell you guys about when I worked in TV. Um, Met a lot of met met a bunch of famous people. Uh, hey boss, still waiting patiently for that Paul Barron CV. <laughs> Pretty sure it's coming up next week. I actually think it is coming up next week. Uh, Rob the crypto snob, it's coming next week. I think. Don't don't quote me on that. I gotta talk to uh, I gotta talk to some uh, some of our people. But yeah, I think it I think it is coming next week. If not the week after that, probably. Um, but hey hey Rob. I, I know you'll remind me. I know you'll remind me. I appreciate it, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. Where would you allocate $10,000 personal opinion on financial advice? Uh, Ricardo. Ricardo knows all about financial advice, uh, and he knows that this is not financial advice. Um, 10K, 10K, 10K. I mean, I would say... <sighs> I mean, you want some Bitcoin. I said this yesterday. You know, the return, you have to understand the returns on Bitcoin. Like, what is Bitcoin going to do next cycle? A I, I, I mean, you, you have to remember your returns on Bitcoin are not going to be as good as something as uh, Ethereum or, or like the alts, right? I, even Ethereum at this point is at a pretty big market cap. Like, uh, so I, I don't know. I, I would recommend you definitely want to be exposed to Bitcoin. Uh, maybe a little bit of... Maybe a little bit of Bitcoin, a little bit of ETH. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, XRP. I don't know. It, it, it depends. It depends on your risk tolerance, right? For me, uh, like I hold a lot of XRP, but I have a high risk tolerance. Uh, and and if I lost all the money I have in XRP. I'd be really, really mad, but I wouldn't be like totally screwed, right? Um, but yeah, I, it's hard to say. I mean, Bitcoin, ETH, uh, Cardano, HBAR, I'll just give you some coins. HBAR, XRP, remember XRP is gonna be a little more risky. Um, Polkadot, AVAX, Matic. Zcash, maybe? Uh, Let's see. Yup, sounds good to me. Frankie, you're the best. I appreciate you. Uh, Sahil Sahil, I appreciate you. Uh, ben had a good video on BitBoy Crypto with a guide for 10K start. Yeah, maybe I'll make one as well. Um, all right, let's see. Let's see. The wick is close enough. Uh, good practice to treat your own money like you're buying crypto for your grandma. Hey, that's a good point. Uh, Say nay. Uh, practice shorting and price won't matter. Um, what do you think about the four-hour falling wedge on Bitcoin? Uh, BTC will give us a small pump. Um, let's take a look. Um, what do you think about the four-hour falling wedge? All right, let's take a look at it. Um, bada boom. Four-hour falling wedge. Oh, is that what we're doing now? We're drawing this as a all right, what are we gonna? We're gonna have to move our lines around now. Uh, four hour falling wedge. I'm trying to see what you guys are seeing here. Uh, let's see. Is this? Uh, yeah, I don't really know. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know how we would draw that. I, I, I see this more as a bearish formation. I, I, I see this as a bear pennant breaking down. Uh, I, I don't really know if, I don't really see that as a falling wedge. Um, in my own personal opinion. Um, but yeah, I mean, I know there's a million ways you can draw it. Uh, what percent of 100K would you uh, put in BTC? See, with 100K, I would allocate a little more into Bitcoin because the market, be, you don't have to worry about the market cap being so big because you have you have a bigger amount of capital to grow, right? When you have a little bit of money, 
you want your coin to more than three or four X because if you four X a thousand dollars, yeah, you'll make, you'll make a few thousand dollars. That's great. But wouldn't you rather put that in something that could 20 X, right? You'd rather turn a thousand dollars into 20 grand than a thousand dollars into four grand. Um, but if you have a hundred K and you put a hundred K into Bitcoin and at five X is now you got half a million dollars. So, uh, I, I would say the more money you have, the higher percentage I would allocate to Bitcoin. Um, in my personal strategy, like for me, when I first started, I didn't have a lot of money. Um, and what I invested, I didn't mind if I, like if I lost it, it wouldn't have really killed me. Uh, so I just kind of put it all, I was all or nothing. So I invested a little bit into Bitcoin. When Bitcoin had its first run off, run up, I sold it off. And then I put all, most of my money into, uh, you know, I treated Ethereum as my Bitcoin uh, because Ethereum had more potential to grow, but still wasn't like a risky alt, right? Uh, so I put a lot of my money into Ethereum, wound up working out pretty well. And then I took a smaller percentage and put them into like, lower lower cap altcoins um but guys uh real quick we're coming up to the end here an hour and 50 minutes uh we're coming up to the end here we got to do our uh giveaway announcement uh for the cardano nfts and uh uh so I, we're not going to take a look at any more alts but guys uh we have a special guest in um we have a special guest in the studio now i don't know how camera shy they're gonna be but the official originator of the Frankie Candle sauce. That's right. My mother is in the studio right now. The question is, is Mama Candles camera shy or does she want to come and say hi to the Candle Mafia? Uh, okay, she's coming on. Guys, this is Mrs. Candles, or, or no, Mrs. Candles is Jess, but Mama Candles is in the house. Here she is, guys. Say what's up to Mama Candles. Hello, Bitcoin. Did you <laughs> did you bring sauce? Yes, I did. You did? Okay. Did. She's got the she's got the sauce. Guys, if she really did bring the sauce, we will eat macaroni live. And the meatballs. And she's got the meatballs too. And she's got a dog. The dog's here. Hello. <laughs> All right, there you go. Mama Candles in the Yay. flesh, guys. Give it up for Mama Candles in the chat. Uh, <laughs> she flew all the way down from New York to uh, to see Frankie Candles uh, in the flesh, to see her her wonderful son. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Sahil Sahil says she's beautiful. What was that? Sahil says you're beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, guys. Hello. Everybody's showing you love. Look at that. Yay, Mama Candles. Uh, okay, guys. Let's go ahead. Uh, somehow I already knew that was exactly what she looked like. <laughs> uh, hey, from Australia. Uh, put some respect on her name. Let's go. Uh, I have two dogs that look like that. Wow, I'm in. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and spin our wheel, and then uh, go ahead and pull our winners for our NFT giveaway. Um, but a boom, random, boom. All right. So here we go. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Uh, first appearance of Mama Candles. Absolutely. Uh, hello, Senorita Candles. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Mama Candles is a lucky woman. Frankie deserves to be at the top. He keeps it real. Absolutely, guys. I got nothing to hide. I keep it real. I wouldn't introduce you to my mother. Uh, guys, look at that. This is like, this is only our first year as the Candle Mafia, and I already let you guys meet Mama Candles. You guys met my mom. Uh, let's see. <laughs> what would Mama Candles, uh, <laughs> uh, Ma Mama Candle said it, uh, her advice for investing 10, what would you invest $10,000 in? She said a Louis Vuitton bag. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Frankie just might be my future, <laughs> oh my God, Crypto Billy, Crypto where, Billy. Where's he from? Oh God, Crypto <laughs> Billy. <laughs> uh, I, I, Crypto Billy actually lives uh, in another country. He's very far away, Mom, sorry. Actually, no, I met Crypto Billy. He's a very nice guy. He's a very, Crypto Billy, listen, I don't know if you're single or not, but you, you are a very nice guy. Uh, you, might, you might get the okay from Frankie Candles. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, uh, Bob Dale wants to see Loop Ring. Uh, Bob, we will, you know, we will try, we will come back to Loop Ring after we spin our wheel and, uh, and pick our random comments uh, for our NFT winners, and then we will try to come back for Loop Ring. So, Dale, uh, Bob Dale, hang in there. Hang in there. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Um, okay. 
Let's go ahead. 440 likes, guys. We need 10 more likes for 450. I'll give you five spins. Uh, but let's start the spins now. Spin numero uno. Let's see. Oh, no, you guys are right. Hide that red ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got the night off. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, spin number two. Yeah, thanks for that heads up, Mark. Thanks for that heads up. She didn't, she didn't smack me in the back of the head, so that, that was a plus. That was a good thing. We're not in New York. Maybe that's why. Two nights off. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Come on. Give him an extra giveaway. There it is. There it is. There it is. Let's go. There it is. Five NFTs. Five NFTs, right? I think that's five. So, uh, one, uh, Tyler, uh, please, or Tyler or Tony or Captain or Crypto Anon, please correct me uh, if uh, we are not at five NFTs. But I believe, uh, I, I believe that, uh, I, I believe we have five NFTs now to give away. Good looking and funny. Big ups to the godfather of the candle mafia. Let's go. Uh, I liked five times, but I don't want the giveaway. XRP Shillbilly, you're getting the giveaway if you win it. We're giving it to you. We won't let you. Oh, we got six NFTs we're giving away. Look at that. All right, let's see. Give him another one. Give him another one. Ooh, baby. I lost count of the spins here, but we hit 450 likes, so I'm just going to give you guys two extra spins. Screw it. Mama Candles is in the house. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll give you the extra spins. Uh, all right, we'll give you one more. One more. We got to eat crickets. All right. Mama Candles, it's water. It's just water, I promise. I'm sorry. Ma, I'm sorry, ma. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. Let's go. Seven. All right. Seven NFTs, guys. Uh, oh, we're going to be poor one day. We're going to be poor. But that's okay. I will go poor. I, I will become poor, guys, If uh, as, long as, as long as it means that you guys are getting something. I, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I will take it. Um, all right. Uh, let me just actually bring this over here so we can grab our video link. All right. If you guys, uh, right now is your last chance to go ahead and click on that link and watch uh, Yusuf. Uh, and wa uh, go to that video, like it, drop a comment, and be a subscriber to enter to win the, gi uh, enter to win the giveaway. Um, while I get, this is going to take me a couple seconds to set up here. So if you haven't done it, go do it now. You got about 30 seconds. I'm kidding. It's probably going to be closer to like 45 seconds to a minute. Um, all right, let's see. Bada boom. Bada boom. All right, you guys might hear my voice real quick. So I apologize if that is the case. Bada boom. All right, here we go. Hold on. Boom. Boom. Uh, filter duplicates. Boom. Okay. Here we go. We've got... Sorry to capture your entered... Oh, five plus two. Oh, no, guys. We got to do a math problem to get these... Uh, to pick our winners. What's five plus two? That's like... Five plus two? Seventeen? Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Here we go. 138 comments. I think this is the most people we've had enter into the giveaway. Um, all right, here we go. Let's. All right, cross your fingers. Let's go, baby. Love your show. John Joyce, I appreciate you. Frankie, if you go poor, the Candle Mafia's got your back. No worries there. The Godfather, that's why I don't care about going broke for you guys, because I know you got my back. Here we go. Winner number one out of six. We have six winners. Here we go. Winner number one, Crypto Sasquatch. I don't know if he's in chat today, but Crypto Sasquatch, shout out to you. He's in here all the time. Uh, he says, thanks, uh, thanks, Frankie, for keeping us informed. It's been awesome watching your channel grow. Crypto Sasquatch, it's been awesome having you here the whole time. I appreciate you, man. You are literally always in here. You're an OG member of the Candle Mafia. Congratulations. If anybody uh, deserves one of these NFTs, you are one of those people. Um, so shout out to you. Congratulations. Winner number two, winner number two, Victor Lopez, <laughs> he comments, I won. Uh, Victor Lopez, you did win. Um, again, guys, just a disclaimer, because I know not everybody's going to be in chat here. If you're watching this, you won the giveaway. If you don't claim your giveaway, if you don't claim your NFT by the next giveaway, which will be next Friday, we will give that NFT to somebody else. So you have until next 
Thursday to claim your, your prize. Um, but Victor Lopez, you did win. You predicted the future right there. That's how you manifest, people. You just act like it's already reality and it becomes reality right there. Shout out to you, Victor. S winner number three. Winner number three. Let's go. Who do we got? Who do we got? Kaifman666. Uh, I, I like, that, uh, I like that, that profile picture. It says, Death Cross Pump, let's go. Shout out to you, uh, Kaifman. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Uh, you want an NFT? You have till Thursday to claim it or we will give it away to somebody else, but shout out to you, congratulations. Winner number four, I think. Who do we got? Tox, I like this channel. Frankie gives good analysis. Tox, shout out to you. I, is that short for Takis? Are you a big Takis fan? So you just call yourself Tox? Yo, what's up Tox? Um, shout out to you, man. You got until Thursday to claim your NFT. Uh, congratulations, winner number five. Here we go, I think this is five. Somebody correct me if, uh, if I'm not. Wendell, is Wendell in here? Wendell, shout out to you. I don't know if you're in here, but another OG supporter of the channel. He just comments, sauce. Well, Wendell, who knew you would win your NFT when you comment sauce when the originator of uh, the Frankie Candle sauce is actually in the studio today. Um, so shout out to you, Wendell. I appreciate you, man. Uh, congratulations. Winner number five, six. You, this is the last one. Act 1800, hitting bottom. Just before the Fed rate increases in June, Act 1800, uh, I don't think I've ever seen you in chat, so I don't know if you're going to see this, but shout out to you. Congratulations. You won an NFT. You have until next Thursday to claim it. Shout out. Congratulations. Uh, guys, I'm just waiting for the time where we go to pick a winner and their, their, the comment is just like straight hate. It's like, screw this guy. I hate him. And then we're going to actually give him an NFT and see if he reaches out. It'd be hilarious. Um, but yeah, shout out to you, Act1800. You want an NFT? Uh, what? Oh, okay. So we have seven. Okay. Okay. All right. We got one more. Let's go. One more. Let's go. Uh... Congrats, y'all. Bing bong. Let's get one to the get. All right, cool. We got one more. All right, beautiful. Thank you. Best mods in the game. You guys don't let anything slip. I am new here. Enjoy the video. Uh, hey, uh, Leonar. Leonar Lorik. Welcome to the Candle Mafia. But I'm just telling you right now, there's no getting out. There's no getting out, man. If you're in, you're in. That's it. Trust me. You do not want to leave this mafia. It's not going to end well. I'm just kidding, man. But seriously, don't leave. Hang around. What do we got? The days of old. Uh, I don't know if the days of old is in here. Wow, a lot of people who are in here every day are winning, but they're like not in here for the first time in a long time. But the days of old, congratulations to you. Uh, you deserve this. Uh, you're always in here supporting, so shout out to you. Uh, they say thank you, and I say anytime I do it for the people. And speaking of doing it for the people, guys, uh, let's actually go back there for, uh, who was it? Uh, D Dave Dale, what was it? What was his name? What was his name? Uh, Bob Dale, Bob Dale, if you're still in here, I did not forget about you. We're gonna take a look at Loop Ring uh, just because I saw, I saw your name, I read it and I felt bad. I can't, I can't, uh, I, I, got, I, got, I gotta take a look at Loop Ring for you. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, loop, loop Ring Coin V2, that sounds like a scam, not gonna lie. Um, all right, LRC, taking a look at LRC. Hey, uh, Dave, Dave Dale, is that what it was? If you're still in here, let me know you're still in here. Uh, and then if you're not in here, then uh, if anybody wants to see Loop Ring, thank, uh, thank, thank Dave Dale. I, I don't know if I'm remembering his name correctly, but Bob Loop, Dale. What, Bob Dale, Bob, Bob Dale. Shout out to Bob. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, congratulations to all the NFT winners. I'm just gonna cover Loop Ring real quick and then we're gonna shoot out of here. Uh, I'm gonna go out to eat with uh, Mrs. Candles and uh, Mama Candles here in a minute. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know if Bob Dale lasted that long, but hey, Bob, this is for you if you're watching the replay. Uh, <laughs> let's see. On the daily, ooh, printing, oh wow, printing a, uh, a pretty mean trigger wave here. On the daily, looking like you could have some more downside for loop ring. Looking at the 12 hour, no blood diamonds like we had on ETH, but wow, that daily, I do have to say, no yellow X, but that is not a good look with that trigger wave right there. Um, let's take a look at the four hour. VWAP coming up on the four hour, but money flow coming down. I think there's a good chance you probably come back down and test 41 cents. Um, yeah, you got a manipulation X on the two hour. Uh, VWAP, yeah, VWAP's kind of just wop, kind of just crabbing sideways. Uh, yeah, I think the yellow X will, uh, yeah, 41 cents is probably an, 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 
inevitability. As you guys know, my English teacher taught me well. So um, let's see, one hour, VWAP coming down. Yeah, let's check the lower time, check the money flow. Yeah, money flow coming up on the 6, 12, 15. Yeah, money flow is coming up on the lower time frames. Um, yeah, hmm, money flow coming up, money flow coming down on the higher time frames. Yeah, I mean, maybe you get a, a little relief, but with the two hour, three hour and four hour money flow coming down on top of the yellow X's and uh, the daily trigger wave, I think there is a chance you keep coming down. But again, probably gonna be very dependent on what Bitcoin does. But I just wanted to cover Loopering real quick, even though I'm almost positive Bob Dale is not in here anymore. Uh, but whatever, we do it for you, Bob. Uh, <laughs> Congratulations to all our NFT winners, guys. Thank you so much for all of you guys tuning in tonight. I appreciate every single one of you. Not too bad of a turnout for a holiday, the start of a holiday weekend. My son and I are watching. Can you say hi to Brayden? He likes your music. Uh, hey, um, hey, Brayden, Brayden, hey, Brayden, I'm talking to you. Your dad, Matthew is the man and you seem like the man too and if you like my music stay tuned because i think we're going to start playing some more music i'm gonna give you guys uh show you guys some new beats that i like that we'll play in the beginning of the stream so uh hey listen keep watching this content with your dad so you can learn about money and you could be the first one out of your friends to be a millionaire how cool would that be shout out to you brayden i also like your name it's a cool name um but guys Thank you so much for everybody tuning in. I appreciate every single one of you more than you can imagine. You guys make this channel what it is. Thank you for 15,000 subscribers, already creeping to 16K. Absolutely unbelievable. Every time I look at my YouTube analytics, it blows my mind and I, I, I have nothing to thank but you guys. So shout out to you guys. I appreciate every single one of you more than you know. I gotta head out and go grab some food with Mrs. Candles and Mama Candles. Uh, <laughs> so that's all I got here uh, for you guys today. I will see you same place, same time on Tuesday, because uh, I don't think I'm going to be streaming on Monday, but if we do, it'll be from the home, uh, home studio, but I will definitely see you on Tuesday, same place, same time, 545, right here, after ATV. I love each and every single one of you. That's all I got. Frankie Candles out. Bing bong. Debate Crypto is live right now. Whoa, hang on. Whoa, stop. After credit scenes here, you got the bloopers. Uh, debate Crypto uh, mods real quick. I'm just going to say this live on air because I'm probably going to forget after this. Um, I, never mind. Debate Crypto is live right now, guys. Please go over there. Uh, hop in their live stream. Uh, they're going to be covering all the fundamentals, all the news. You know the deal. Drop a like. Leave a comment. Let them know the Candle Mafia is in the house and Frankie Candle sent you. I love you guys. I'll see you on Tuesday. Hasta mañana. Frankie Candle's out. Bing bong. Thank you.